Now we are going to study an interesting application of ultrasound and that is what is called as the Doppler ultrasound. Doppler ultrasound is based upon a principle in physics that is called as the Doppler effect. Doppler effect was established by a scientist by the name of Christian Doppler and he defined this particular Doppler effect. Uh, you know, he defined this Doppler effect by saying that it is nothing but the change in frequency of sound that occurs whenever there is a relative motion between the emitter of sound and the receiver or reflector of sound. So, when there is relative motion between them, the frequency is going to change. This actual change in frequency is what is called as the Doppler shift. Let us try to understand it. You have just finished your work in the hospital and you are going towards your home at the end of the day. You are just near the hospital gate when you see that there is an ambulance which is carrying a patient towards the hospital. Now the ambulance is giving out an alarm or a siren. Listen to that alarm when the ambulance moves. Listen to the sound that is going to come out here. Listen to this particular sound that you are going to hear now. Listen to it. Did you see that the, did you see that the sound has changed slightly? Listen to it again. Did you observe that the pitch of sound was changing? What happened when the ambulance was stationary and the siren was being given out was that the ambulance was emitting sound. This sound was coming out as sound waves. So when the ambulance was stationary, right? What happened was that, you know, the sound waves were coming out. These sound waves are equidistant. So, the distance between two waves is called as the wavelength, correct? So, the sound had a constant wavelength and a constant frequency. Now, look at this wave front. When the ambulance is moving, see how the wave front has changed. Can you see? The wave fronts on the front side, the waves are pushed together. The waves are pushed together. So, the interval between the waves has decreased. Because the interval between the waves have decreased, what has happened here? is that the wavelength has decreased. Because the wavelength has decreased, the frequency has increased. So, the wavelength has decreased, frequency have increased. So, you see, you hear a high pitch of sound. On the other side, can you see the sound waves are widely separated? So, wavelength has increased. So, the frequency has decreased. So, again, because the frequency has decreased, sound the sound you hear is going to change. On the front side, again to revise, the wavelength decreases. So, the frequency increases and therefore when the ambulance is traveling towards you, you hear a high pitch sound or a higher frequency sound. Whereas on the other side, on the far side, when the wavelength has increased, the frequency will decrease, you hear a low frequency sound. This my friends is what is called as the Doppler effect. Now, how is this Doppler effect basically used in ultrasound? It is used by, you know, an application that is what is called as the Doppler ultrasound. Let us quickly have a look at it. Just imagine that we are going to do a USG abdomen. Now, when you are scanning the part of the abdomen, you keep a probe on the surface of the body. This probe you are not moving at all. So, this particular probe is stationary. The liver parenchyma is also not moving. So, liver parenchyma is also stationary. So, if a pulse is emitted and an echo is received, there is no motion between them and there is no relative motion. So, Doppler effect will not occur. But inside the liver, there is a blood vessel. See, portal vein, blood is flowing. RBCs are flowing, right, towards into the liver parenchyma. These RBCs are reflectors of sound. So, probe is stationary, but RBCs are moving. So, if we apply the ultrasound beam, you know, if you are trying to screen the portal vein, right, there is relative motion between them. So, Doppler effect will come into play. Frequency will change. So, can you, do you get the hint? Where is Doppler ultrasound basically used? Doppler ultrasound, most important application of Doppler ultrasound is that it is used for vascular imaging to detect the blood flow, direction and velocity of blood flow. This display image is a color Doppler.